So today I will be working on this chipboard piece here to create yet another assemblage. Now this one will be a little bit different, has a little twist, you will see. First I added some white gesso and now some crackle paste. Now this crackle paste is by Golden and even though it crackles nicely, it takes forever to dry, literally a couple of days. So I will set this aside and start with the next piece. And for that I use two small canvases, canvas boards. I start with texture paste and my stencil. And from here on everything is going to be easy for you to follow. Like always all my mediums will be in the captions and I will talk to you somewhere in the middle and towards the end I also have a second piece for a show and tell so please enjoy Now at this point I gave plenty of time for those big pieces to fuse together. I also changed the direction of the little box so I had a flat bottom here and then added odds and ends. There are some die cuts I had laying around for way too long. There are jewelry pieces and I will continue decorating with gears and yeah, bits and bobs. Now again, I did this off camera, but here is a close up. As you can see, uh, I have also added things in between the two canvas boards for even more texture and interest. I added lots of little things on the outside of the little box and the rest is not completely covered, just enough um, to make it look complete. And I also added a little texture paste, so here and there. And after that's all dry, of course, my obligatory <laughs> black gesso. It takes a couple of coats, there are a lot of little corners to get into. And then as soon as that's dry, I will go on and back to some music.
Okay, it's close-up time. So here are my crackles in the background and then of course the assemblage in all its detail. Now I'm quite happy with the way the colors set this off. I think it made the whole appearance a bit brighter and that's something I am trying to <laughs> work on because I so often work with black gesso that many of my pieces tend to be a bit dark. Now I don't mind the metallic colors, I actually really really like them, but a little color somewhere I think uh, helps the overall look. Here too I think the papers in the glass bottles and the white in the watch and the glass over here complemented the look and gave it a nice bright focal point. So I put this together a bit more simply. I didn't overload it with my bits and pieces as I wanted to make sure to still see the fibers and the stenciling I did in the beginning. But to me it looks uh, complete. I'm happy with the outcome and yes, I uh, resisted putting dangles on it because yeah, I didn't want to ruin it. I think it is good just the way it is. Now here on the back I added a hook like always. I finished it up with bits and pieces of book pages and the leftover papers from the map I used in the little bottle and I distressed it a bit. That's it just to make it nice and clean. And so here's this. I don't need to explain too much more but I do have a second piece for you. Now this piece over here is rather different and yet it used some of the same components. So I started by decorating a little wooden box. I used again bits and pieces from my broken jewelry collection. I hope you can see it. But I didn't decorate everything. I did not decorate the back or the sides for that. I used craft paper which I distressed a little bit and it has this kind of architectural old-fashioned design on it. And then I added this big round earring here to hold this piece which is my focal point. And as you can see it's meant to be a microscope but it's made from a spark plug and it has other odds and ends, screws and metal components. And we bought this off a street vendor many years ago together with my boys when we were in Mexico. And it's been gathering dust in my shelf so I thought it needed a good place to live. So it fits nicely in here and I purposely did not glue it in there because it's a cool thing to pick up and it's very sturdy so it won't break or anything and people can take it out and have a good look at it. So for the rest here I used again some popsicle sticks. I used some gears, cardboard ones and metal ones. Some are painted, some are not. They're all around the edges here on the bottom on the side. Then I added a big old-fashioned uh, key with a chain and a tiny little gear at the end. And then of course as you can see I added these big old-fashioned hooks. Here in the back it has a hook for hanging and as you can see the hooks are securely anchored here. Now another thing I did on this which um, is new to me is uh, gesso I added because I mixed my black gesso with some sawdust. Now I've seen people use sand or uh, coffee uh, grains, things like that, but I didn't have either handy. But uh, my husband has a lot of sawdust because he works with wood. And I really like the way it came out. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it gave everything this bit of fuzzy, fibered, old, uh, grungy looking um, surface and I'm very happy with it and I will definitely use it again. And next time I will try to do it on camera. But I do uh, have what it looks like here after I added the sawdust to my uh, black gesso. It's kind of a thick paste, now it's more thick than it was in the beginning because it dried. But it goes on easy and I think the effect is really cool. Another thing I um, experiment with here uh, is the color because um, instead of my usual teal or metallic colors I used light blue to start with. It complemented the paper but I also wanted to see how it looks as a 
base coat because then of course I added copper and gold on top of it and I'm quite happy with the way it came out. It's a different kind of look, different color and yes I want to experiment more with some new colors in my assemblages. So anyway here's the thing, it gets put back in there pretty easily and of course the hooks are for either keys or maybe a dog leash or whatever someone might want to hang on it. I also added a very thin coat of varnish to this uh, reclaimed fence wood just to avoid the danger of splinters or dust. So here are my two pieces. I hope you enjoyed your time with me today. I hope I get to see you really soon again, latest by next Friday. I'm wishing you a wonderful weekend. Until then, bye bye for now.